Hi, welcome back to C5 Basics. Today let's take a look at the dashboard again and find out the best way to manage users and members on your Concrete 5 website. We'll begin, of course, on the dashboard. And you'll see that there's a window pane here for members. And under members, it lists search users, user groups, attributes, and group sets. User groups is the area that allows you to view, edit, you can even manually add a new user. User groups will allow you to separate and organize members by groups so that you can grant varied levels of access and permissions. Attributes is where you can view and add choices that enhance the user experience. And Group Sets, as the name implies, allows you to combine or to mix and match different groups. And these sets now can be granted their own permissions and access. It's a great time saver. So let's open up Search Users. Being a new startup site, I only show two users. I have my sample user account and myself. But I can easily add a user by filling in username, a password for them, a unique email address. I can have an avatar should I choose, and I can also select or deselect registration data for receiving private messages and how they want to be notified about receiving that private message. At this time, I can also add a new user under a particular group so that right away they have all the permissions and access that are granted to that group. Also, you'll see that we can select from our list of users and edit right here on the main screen. We can edit the properties of each user. We can activate, deactivate. We can change grouping or add to a group. We can remove them from an existing group or outright delete that member. To view what each member has available, it's as simple as just clicking on their username and selecting Edit. Again, from this screen, you can deactivate, or to test them on the site, you can sign in as that user. Let's view Edit. Under Edit, we can modify the username, update their email address, change or select an avatar, and of course, we can now change password. Very handy, very quick should someone forget, or for security, you need to update this. Quick, easy, just the way managing your user list should be. Now let's take a look at user groups. User groups, again, is a method to combine or to add users to a particular set of rules or permissions. And we not only can start with the basic administrators group, but we can now create new groups. For instance, if I just want an editor group, that particular group, once it's created, can be uh, granted permissions that don't allow overall site changes, but they may be able to edit or update certain segments of your website. Not only that, but now we can also choose to have their membership expire at a particular time. This is not only handy again for editors that may be coming in to help you but won't be around all the time, but also to have an area for members that sign up to your site on a temporary basis. Their subscription, for instance, is temporary, 30 days, and they have to re-register. This is the area where you can control all of that. Again, it's under the Add Group function. Attributes is a summary of what functions that you can permit or create 
for each individual user. As you can see, by default, the first attribute is, I would like to receive private messages. The second one is, I would like to be notified by email of those private messages. As your site develops, you may want to have other options for users. You can add those attributes and how they're presented at this screen. And lastly, group sets. Now, as the name implies, a group set is the combination of different user groups. When you open this pane, you'll see what groups are available. And you can combine them, no matter how many there are, in whatever order or mix that you wish by just selecting them and typing in the new group name and adding that set. The reason you would do this is, again, you may want to have all members of varying groups or maybe only half the select groups be involved in a particular project that just came up. By adding them to a set, you can now add permissions and those permissions apply to all the members under those groups all at one time. This is a great time saver when it comes to a large and especially complicated site or one where you have a lot of people helping out. I'm sure you'll like using it. And there you go, was an overview of managing members and users from your Concrete 5 dashboard. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'm Adrian, your Concrete 5 Arvix web hosting liaison. If you have questions about this presentation or would like to see another topic, don't hesitate to contact me at adrian.rick at arvix.com.